Welcome to today's video everybody. So today we are doing a very different one. I know I've been saying that kind of a lot lately, but I've just been trying to do new content and try out new stuff because I don't know. I don't really know my groove yet. So I'm still trying to figure everything out and that's okay. So today we're going to be sim drifting. I sim drift a lot and I honestly didn't realize until I started drifting in real life how much it actually affects your driving and how much it actually helps for just a lot of your cues and your timings and stuff. Like it taught me a lot about like time, tam, ugh, timing for the handbrake and everything. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy how much it actually helped me personally and lots of other people. But, um, I thought I might as well make a video out of it. I always like every other day I'm sim drifting and just practicing and trying out tracks and stuff. So I thought I'd make a little video about it. So we're not gonna be in the garage today. I'm gonna go up to my room and uh, I'll show you guys my little setup I got going on. It's nothing crazy. Trust me, like it's nothing. <laughs> it's not anything nuts. Like I have some stuff to upgrade, but I just haven't built my full sim yet because I don't really have the space for it. But uh, once I move out and get my own garage and get all my own stuff, I'm gonna build an actual bigger rig. But anyways, let's go upstairs and uh, I'll show you guys my setup currently. <laughs> so currently, this is all we got. PC on the ground, Logitech G29. Not the G29, I forget, it's the, not the base one, it's the upgraded one, so it's got the better, um, it's got the better internals. Uh, you know, three pedals. I used to have a handbrake mounted right here, but uh, it broke. I have still riv nuts under here that I drilled in, but the handbrake, it was one of those shitty Amazon ones and it just gave out and broke on me. But, up here, I don't know if you can see that. I have a fan attack shifter. So that's a that's a big boy that I'm gonna put on once I upgrade it. It's just this base is just like a you can it, it doubles as just a basic stand, but it also comes with monitor attachments like that, and it has attachments that come out and up and build a whole rig. So I have all the bars for that in the other room. In here, it's all this stuff here. And then I have this bucket seat that I'm going to build to uh, mount to that. But like I said, it's just space and like storing that here. I just don't have anywhere to store it right now and it just doesn't really make sense to build it. But anyways, we are switching to the computer now. So we're going to we're going to do a little switcheroo. OK. All right. So as you guys can see, I use Content Manager for everything. That is my jam. If you play a set of Corsa, Content Manager is what you want. It is the best. There's nothing that that is like for mods and stuff. That is just the jam. So as you can see, I have uh, Animal Style S13. That's the best car. <laughs> Tamworth UK Streets. This is like, I'm going to go online in a minute, but I always, before I go online, I do like a little test session. You know, I just kind of load up and just drive a little bit. Just get, get warm because... I hate you hate being the guy that hops into uh, a session and just crashes into people so don't don't be that guy This map is so fun. Tamworth UK Streets is like just so good. It's just like you just floor it a lot of the time. It's very fun. Oh, I forgot to change the gearing in the car. So third gear is just less usable. Ah! Oh fuck! <laughs> Dude, I'm so rusty. I left a brake a lot, like going into a corner. As like, if I'm lunging hard, it does like, uh, I don't know, stabilize the car a little bit. This is my favorite section coming up here. It's so good here, it's just like a really fast transition. Ah, oh, no, man. Fuck, I messed up before my favorite section. Okay. 
right here. Ah! <sighs> it's tough, because my handbrake right now, since my actual pull handbrake is broken, I'm, I'm on a button. So, like, like, this button right here, that's my handbrake. So, like, I have to, like, there it's like, if I want to go fast, you gotta go really quick, hit the limiter, handbrake drag, downshift, so that you can hit that corner at the end that I just went behind. But, it's kind of hard when you're, like, mid-transition, fumble for the button, and it's just, yeah, it's this whole thing. So, I drive North Course a lot, actually. Um, it's hard. It's, it's a hard, it's like a very challenging track that pushes your driving, but, um, it's... Driving it all the time on the sim makes me want to sell my Evo and buy a JZX in Japan or something, or buy a Sylvia. JZX is probably better for North Course, because you can just... You know, you have a lot of car to crush before you get into too much suspension stuff, where Sylvia, you hit the wall a couple times and the thing's totaled. But, I don't know, a really part of me wants to go and drive at this track in real life at some point. At some point soon. <laughs> Every time I load into these servers when there's a bunch of people, it's just like initial lag, but... Party a guy in the woods over there. <laughs> So many people drift this corner, but you're actually not supposed to. This is uh, where you stage up in real life. That's what I always do. So I guess I'm leading. Oh, grass. Real shallow there. I need to go wider. Okay, first, first lap. Sorry guys, fuck! <laughs> oh. I was playing catch up and it bit me in the ass. It happens. Sorry people. I don't have a button right now set up for back to pits either. Alright, let's try and throw down a solo heater here. A little north course heater. When I go wide at the wall there, it like scares me a little bit. I just you barely tap that wall and it loops you. In the game, obviously. In real life you can scrape it a little bit, but in this game if you touch the wall in any any way, it's just it's tough. Alright. That's enough North Course for now. Next track. Okay, this next one is Brooklyn Park. Brooklyn Park is a really good track. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't know if it's real life or it's just an online one, but um, it is a, this, what's, this is ACS Drift, I think is the mod pack, or oh, it's BDC cars, BDC. So it's like lower 400 horsepower cars. Um, but this track is super fun because you can just stack up. Like, it has super long sweepers and, and the line you take is, is always the bro line for this track. So it's really sick that you can just, there's a spot under the, tu under a tunnel you go in and you just like stack up. It's, it's really fun, so. I thought it'd be good to try and get some clips on this track, because uh, hopefully I can get some really good tandem clips. It just sucks when you're chasing with no handbrake, it's so hard. Like, you try and left foot brake a little bit just to try and get in the pocket, but on transition sometimes when you're diving, if you're playing catch up, you just need to, like, handbrake check up. I'm sure people, you drift, you know, but it's it gets hard when you're doing it this way, because, like, you just, you risk totaling people's cars. Yeah. Well, this car's fast though. Super gripped up. Oh yeah, this car's way faster than the other one. Sorry for the limiter being loud. Oh, and then the gear's too tall for third. Ah, 
really. Man, with these tires, these cars are fast, man. Oh, what the fuck? There's a car there. Dude, get out of the track, man. <laughs> oh. I had a bad start there. Steered a little there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Too much left foot. Oh, fuck, I hit him. <laughs> Alright. Well. That guy lunged just a little, uh, just a little too hard. Whoa, something's wrong with the wheel right now. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Oh my, something broke. <laughs> Being car number three is always super hard because then you have to, um, you're always the guy who's then correcting to two people's mistakes, you know, or two people's bobbles, so it's like, to stack up in a three car makes it even harder. Because then the second car can still kind of stay close just because he's... He's only got one guy to worry about, where you're worrying about two cars. Come here, boy. How did I end up car number two? <laughs> Oh, did I hit him? Desync or some shit? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this dude. Ah, oh, there I got a big gap. Fuck. I, there's a fine line in left foot braking there where like, I, I do it too much to where I understeer a little. You know, like the front wheels start to get too much grip. Whew, I gotta chill. <laughs> this guy seems fast, I wanna chase him. Oh, well. Well, I can barely see him. Oh, 
Oh! That screwed me up. Ah. Um, once he despawned, it just screwed up my whole line. That was a hard hit. My bad. <laughs> I messed up his line a little bit. Because I punted him. But he is a little bit slow. Go ahead, Arc7. I'll chase you. I clearly can't figure this out right now. Now, I remember how nervous I used to get when people were chasing me. I'd always be like, oh my god, lay down a good line, like, in real life and, uh, and this, even, like, when I was, like, just starting to learn how to sim drift, I was like, oh my god, I don't want to fuck up and make people mess up behind me, <laughs> but, whatever, I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating right now. Goddamn. Okay. Now to end it off, I always, 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 always do this. If you've ever driven Mount Akina, you know it's hard. It's very hard. And I have, for a couple years now, been practicing Mount Akina. Like, not consistently, on and off a lot. Just trying different, like, entries. But I always drive this car. I always drive the S13. And, uh... I still have yet to really figure it out, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Because it's very hard. There's some sections that are super tough. Like, there's some straight... The straight is... You just don't... You can't link it. Like, I can't manji that straight without crashing men on the right... On the right-hander, but... You guys will see. Let me just... Let me demonstrate. But I always do a faint entry here. I don't remember if I've done third or not, but... Yeah, here we go. Ugh. There's gonna be a lot of crashing in here, alright? So... Here you... I kind of find you have to e-brake entry it, and a little bit on the left foot brake. It's more like the throttle control more than anything. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Insert crash compilation here. No! <laughs> that tiny little white warning sign, like a fucking, the fucking, what do you call it? Like it's, it's, it's like the supermarket cones, bro. Just totaled my car. Sick. Like, this straight, I, I don't think I could link it. It would take me a really long time. Got it. Guys, that is as best as it's going to get today. I don't think I can do much better than that. A couple spots were a little sloppy, but... 
Oh, oh my god. Dude. Jesus. But yes, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of content. Um, it's very, I don't know, I'm not used to doing it like this with the face cam and the filming this and just, it's very different, so I'm not used to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this style, this new attempt for me. Um, I love sim drifting, so like, I'm still gonna put videos out like this just because I think it's fun and like, might as well make content out of it it's if I'm just, you know, still doing a fun thing that I, I practice and I enjoy. So, if you guys like this kind of content, please drop a comment and let me know if this is something you'd like to see more of. If not, that's okay too. I'm gonna keep doing it, probably. <laughs> but, uh, hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good night whatever time you're watching this, and uh, peace out.